All right, there we go. Welcome to Friday Hacksters. You made it to another Fundum Friday, uh, and today we have something very special. Not only a Fundum Friday about the Onion Omega 2 Pro, the latest model from the Onion Corporation, which is you know, single board computers for IoT, etc. But we also have one in the studio, so we're gonna unbox that. <laughs> uh, first up, let's take a look at the crowd supply page. Since this is Fundum Friday, you can see that they are already more than 250% funded, which is ridiculous. Um, the way they describe it is a tiny open source plug and play Linux dev board with Wi-Fi and lots of storage. All those things are such good things. I love it. Um, so compared to previous versions of the Onion, which you might have uh, Onion Omega, which you might have heard of before, uh, this is not a single little tiny standalone thing that goes onto an expansion board. It's built in altogether, but uh, it includes tons more storage. And when I say more storage, I mean that it has eight gigabytes of storage, which is compared to previous versions here. Um, previously you had like 32 megs of storage and people complained about that apparently. So this one has eight gigs. You can never complain again. <laughs> don't say that they don't listen or give you what you want because they totally do. Um, <laughs> similarly, if you have other things, clearly uh, they're a responsive team, super happy about that. Um, and it's open source. You can also see comparisons between the Omega 2 Pro and the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus uh, and the BeagleBone Black Wireless if you're curious about how it stacks up against those, including price. Uh, there is an O'Reilly book available if you want to learn how to use it, um, but it's pretty straightforward and I might... I might, I kind of have to run out because I'm supposed to be like road tripping to LA today on the way to CES. Speaking of which, tune in next week for CES coverage, but um, we'll see. Maybe I'll bring it with me. That'd be good. So let's get this thing out of the box. Yeah. I already cut the tape, but I haven't actually looked at this yet. Ooh. Nice packaging. Understated, yet effective. Ooh, stickers! Oh yes, crowd supply stickers! They are making these cool little laser uh, cut and etched um, wood stickers made of wood veneer. I love them. Ah, cool. This is going on my computer. Ooh, sticker wall. Sticker wall. Running out of space. Put this one on. <laughs> this is definitely... On the one hand, I'm kind of like wasting time here. On the other hand, this is an important important thing to do. Okay, um, let's put it next to the Omega one here, or the onion, onion one. There we go. We're having to start to overlap. Um, onion right there. Anyway, okay, 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 back to the things you care about. <laughs> Ooh, again, understated. Um, it's definitely a board that doesn't pack in a ton of extra stuff that you don't need, so you notice it doesn't have an HDMI out. Um, it does, however, have this 30-pin breakout connector that allows you to hook it up to all kinds of cool stuff. They've got a pin out for that on the page uh, for the campaign. Um, and yeah, again, this is built in as opposed to previous models where it was a uh, sort of thing that would slot onto the expansion. And that saves you a, full, a few millimeters if you're trying to uh, build it into something, which is part of the point of this, um, as they mentioned on the campaign. Uh, part of it is that you are, it's supposed to be scalable. You can use it for prototypes, you can use it in production. Uh, it's power efficient, but has computing horsepower, <laughs> Wi-Fi connectivity out of the box, um, all kinds of, and this version, I think this is a, maybe the first version had LiPo uh, ability, like charging and using LiPo batteries. Uh, then the second, like the, the Omega 2 or something, did not include that, uh, and now it's back. So yeah, you've got a programmable button, you've got power management, micro USB, power on serial. So yeah, it does USB to serial, which means that you can talk to it over your command line if you just plug it in as a USB device. Cool. Also, you can SSH into it over Wi-Fi. Uh, it can not only act as an access point, but can also connect to other Wi-Fi networks, and they address this down here. Um, it can host its own access point and connect to, for example, our Hackster Things network. Um, super convenient, uh, you know, all, all kinds of cool stuff here. Uh, oh yeah, it's also compatible with their existing plug-and-play little expansions. So, 
uh, you're not stuck on this little tiny white board. You can do um, RFID stuff and NFC. You can do analog to digital converters. You've got GPS. You can get an OLED screen. You can get a little PWM shield. It looks like it hosts about 16 servos. No way. Um, you've got a relay, you've got ethernet, and you've got a proto board. So all kinds of places you could go from this. But at the same time, you don't have to jump on that right now. They talk about how the Onion OS is pre-installed and browser-based, so you don't have to install anything on your computer. Uh, you just, uh, again, this is a, a little server, and so it hosts this browser-based interface called Onion OS. Um, I showed previously how to set up the Onion Omega 2. That was a long time. I was on the other side of the office, so that was uh, August 2017. Wow! How time does fly. Anyway, you can check out the previous video as well as a bunch of other uh, projects that people have already posted with previous versions of the Onion. Wi-Fi cameras, you can use it to stream music. This one's actually from the Onion team on Hackster. They have their own page where you can see the, pre the other um, products and stuff. Uh, you can build your own little like laptop with it. Uh, a little spider robot quadruped thing in the jig. It says Arduino on it. It must involve an onion somehow because it's on this page. Anyway, um, and of course, as usual, you can look for other products uh, and projects that use those, like the OLED expansion, the, Ome uh, the expansion dock for the Omega 2 or whatever. Uh, and then if you have an Omega 2 Plus, you can look for specific things that use that as well. So good! If you're curious uh, for more in-depth information, if you're very hungry for thoughtful analysis. Alistair on our team is great at that. He's already published a blog post. Oh wait, my bad. Not Alistair. Cave Atwell. I should have checked that before I put the description on the video. I'll fix that. <laughs> Thank you, Cave. Um, yeah, our bloggers are fantastic and um, always put in some nice analysis on here, so you can always check that out. And uh, follow our blog on Medium to stay up to date with all kinds of stuff, including other things that are currently funding. So if you just scroll down here, uh, you'll get to the Now Funding section, uh, where we cover a lot of cool makery, developery, hardware stuff happening on Kickstarter and Indiegogo. Uh, oh hey, they're covering the prototype harp. Are they crowdfunding it now? Or maybe it's just that now we're the first time we've covered it on the blog or something. Oh, they are crowdfunding it now! I'm really excited about the... Uh... Anyway, okay, back to... back to. <laughs> I can't look at our blog because it's way too distracting and full of cool things. Ugh. So, Onion OS, super easy to use, but also you can plug in your Onion over USB and then pull up, in this case, it uh, they show it as Omega-6 something or other dot local slash onion OS, which means that that's a local address that's just like uh, its alias on the network. So you could like put in its address in your browser slash onion OS, and then you're instantly able to interact with it either through this command line thing. They've got a code editor IDE with like a syntax highlighting and autocomplete and stuff. Oh, so nice. I can't wait to play with this. I wish I could hang out this afternoon. Um, there's so much cool stuff going on, but I can't. Uh, so you'll have to go check this out. Go get your own. How much is it? Mm, 50 bucks for the Omega 2 Pro. And again, that's not uh, a module plus an expansion. You don't have to buy an expansion separately. It's all in one. Uh, and then you can get other packages that include these extra modules that we talked about. Go check it out! Uh, thanks, Crowdsupply. I love getting presents from you. They're always the best. Um, and yeah, have a great weekend. Cannot wait to play with this thing. Uh, talk to you soon. Tune in for CES stuff next week. All right, ciao.